Power? No power, chat. The unluckiest. What did we open? Uh, Tropical Island, Sylvan Library, Remand, Dothy, Grist, Cryptic. I do like myself a good tropical. It's the best pick one, pack one. Land is safe. <laughs> Drop and reek you. My video so far behind here. Am I dropping frames? No, I'm not dropping frames. You guys aren't having any video issues, right? Oh, okay. Weird. Just on my preview. All right, I'll take the land. It is safe, after all. And where do we go with this? I don't think I'm taking Taiga. I want to just do some random aggro deck, like first, or not first pick, but second pick Rabble Master here. Just like YOLO take the Rabble Master second pick after first picking Tropical. Kind of funny. I could take Jace or something, too. I see the Prismatic. Oh god, I have two seconds. Okay, fine, we'll just take the land. Nearly timed out there. Was not paying attention, obviously. Ashiok? Could have had like Romand, Jace, and Ashiok. I feel like Ashiok's gonna be pretty good. Brutality. Oh, there's the GG. Force of Negation. I don't want to take Brutality. Maybe go into like a reanimate style too. So there are two different Kaidos in this format. This one is, I think, the good one. There's also the four mana one. Yeah, and it's also a Planeswalker, so that's fine. I mean, I think the safe pick is just Force, but I'm all right taking Mr. Shizuki. Nice, 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 nice. Wow, look at that pack. I have a hard time passing Dark Slick Shores here, but Moldrifter's great, Lorien Revealed's great, Leo, Shouldered could be okay, Knight's Whisper's also nuts. Oh, JC into the 16. I wonder if it's better just to take Knight's Whisper here, but I don't think you can go wrong with a Dark Slick. Wow. Nice Misty pickup now. Passing Bob. I mean, I'll take Cryptic on the wheel. Somebody took the Remand, though that's not surprising. Grist is actually not bad for Reanimate as well, right? Plus we have the uh, Misty and Tropical already. Yeah, I could see taking Grist over Cryptic for sure. Wasn't there or This is the same one. Remember, this is six-person draft, so you're going to see the wheels a lot sooner. Consider Sphinx or Petal. Ooh. I don't actually care for Sphinx as a reanimate target, but it's not bad. I'm going to just dig, dig taking the cheap interaction here. Although Petal for early plays is nice. I'm a big fan of any of the blue one-drop cantrips. I don't like makeshift, but let's make sure we get at least like one way to do so right now. Sauron. Or I could hate draft the scavenging. Is Sauron even that good of a reanimate target? Like, okay. Yeah, Titania is good with my fetches too. All right, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'll take Titania. Red, black, talisman. No, we're going to splash Leo for sure. Easy game. Late elf. Oh, you know what? Buseju is probably better. Actually, I could even take elf. Shoot. We could definitely still take Elf here. We're picking up more and more green, so. Reclaimer Titania. Nah. Alright, well, guess we're gonna get the Sphinx anyways. Just need Oko. Tinker! There's a Bencher here. Yuck. There's Archon. I, I don't think I can pass Archon. It's so good. Yeah, the diamond's insane. Anything to allow me to cast any of these planeswalkers on turn two is really good, but it's true. I only have makeshift mannequin. That does that's not even good for reanimate. Plus, if I am reanimate, we're gonna wield the Iono the Iona anyway. Alright, I'm fine with that. Probably just slamming the leak here. Talisman also good, but I'm gonna take the leak, I think. Tinker Citadel was on the board. A lot of good cards here. We'd probably end up running Dig, the Talisman, the Command, maybe the Citadel, Click, Ewit. This grabs one mana spells. I don't think I want the Thief. I think I might just take the Probe. Just a free roll. Drink of Mage is whatever. There's no land fixing here. Regrowth is fine. Oh, there's the other Kaito. I don't think I want this. It's okay. There's a Kiki. There's a Swords. There's the Gta. I could take the Mana Morphos, I guess, but actually Mana Morphos isn't terrible here. Helps fix and card draw. The other cards I don't think I'd be playing. The Mana Morphos we could. 
green black talisman pretty nice vencer's pretty good twin just past kiki charter course chariot crucible's interesting we haven't seen any other reanimate effects so i don't even think reanimate's open i i um yeah i haven't seen anybody try to do storm in this cube either easy rexage Oh, got the talisman back. Talisman, command, and click. And Ewit. Actually, a lot of good choices here. Could be Golos? Nah. I think I like the talisman. God. The Wheel of Fortune with Leo. <laughs> Could probably just take Thief. Regrowth also okay. See Sideboard Slaver. I don't think we need to be hating on any of these. Uh, do I play Epiphany? so slow. I think I'd rather take the Tusk for an aggro deck, you know? Crucible's not out of the question, but I don't think I'm going to start in the main. Dolos isn't crazy. Hey, there you go. With a boom command. I'm a genius for not taking it. That's a card that is not surprising to see that late anyway, so I think that's Pete Ingram or something. Ooh, even regrowth is not terrible. Yes, we did it! Oh god, what is this pack? Lotus, Mox, Mind Twist, <laughs> Ragavan, Grief, Breeding Pool, Decay. God damn it, this pack is insane. Yo, Rob said Otis thanks for the 22 months. That's the crazy thing. It could be that Jet is better. The Mox, or the, rather, the Lotus doesn't even help cast a lot of these. No, that's not true, it does, but. I don't see how I'm passing Lotus. I think I'm taking... I think I'm going to take the Lotus still over the Jet. I have to pass something no matter what I do. Really? You guys want the... No, I'm taking the Lotus. Upheaval. There's a Shouldred. Shouldred's probably too good as well. Yeah, see now we have uh, Lotus plus turn one Shuld Shouldred. Lily, Pentad. I guess we're not even a good Upheaval deck, so... Did strand. I only have tropical, but that's not bad. I don't want to take negate. Is that weird? It's of an Ash thing within 33 months. You think negate comes back? I'm either gonna take the strand or the negate. I wish I had more things to fetch. I'm gonna take the negate. That's fine. Well, bribery. Hello. That is also kind of crazy. Persist is gross. Sneak attacks gross. Actually, I guess a lot of these are just random creatures. Yeah. Time Spiral. You know, Ramanap might just be good enough here, too. Haywire Might's honestly not bad. I guess we could take this Sparas if we wanted. Just for more blue-green. Yeah, Spiral with two different ways to abuse is kind of nice. Alright, let's do it. Let's have some fun. I don't know what I'm taking here, either. A lot of good green choices, man. Kind of like Courser, though. We have ways to manipulate. I'm going to take the Courser for value. All right, Decay is very good. Passing some more Graveyard Hate. I don't think this is a good enough upheaval deck, sadly. I'm just going to take one of these creatures. How good is Treasure Cruise here? Probably not bad. Pretty Lotus is cute, but that's all it really is. Oath of Nyssa is also not bad here, actually. I can dig the Oath. All right, another solid sideboard creature. I don't think Jar is good enough. I think I'm going to take the Excavator. What's up, Lupo Crudo? Thanks for the 28 month subby. Jeez. And Rider, thanks for the 31. I don't even know if that was right to take Questing Beast, but. Man, nobody doing artifacts. <laughs> Last pick. Workshops. Last pick. Knight of Autumn. Right, so I'm gonna import or export this into Magic Online. Give me a second. All right, import, import, export, export, collection, reform, add deck. Do, 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 do. Alrighty. Okay. Now I'm gonna need to go get all the cards I don't have.
Hopefully they don't cost too much. Hopefully Shouldred isn't like a thousand tickets right now. Thirty. Shouldred's about twenty, so be it. Missing a Mox Diamond. Probably crashed. I don't, even, I don't know. What was it? Forty tickets for Mox Diamond? How much is this one? Thirty-seven? Jesus. Well, I guess if I'm going to buy it, I might as well get the pretty one. For a couple more ticks. Yeah, geez. Next time I should just draft based on... Uh... Oh, wait. Why doesn't it have update with cards in your collection? That's weird. It usually would say update with cards in your collection, but that's strange. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Mono red only. Minus the Ragavan. <laughs> Alright, I need to make how many cuts here? I think I'm going to run 16-ish lands. Probably don't need mana Morphos. We have pretty good mana, I think. I don't think I'm cutting any of these top end spells, my four, fives, or sixes. Leo stays, Gris stays. I'm not huge on Thief, but it's generally pretty good. I'm not cutting any of the Planeswalkers. So Ramanap is a consideration to cut, I think. It's got some okay value, but maybe not good enough. Let's see, these are the four lands I'm gonna get. Uh, I like Corsair, I like Sage. I don't think I need Regrowth in this. Regrowth has got a lot of value, though. It's considered the Lotus as a land. All right, so my teammate got the um, Mind Twist, so somebody else got the Jet. Unsurprising. What? How does Elf not ramp into a 3-mana spell? Only specifically it's if it's a basic forest, right? Time walk over Briber. Eh, this is not time walk. <laughs> I think I want to cut one more card. I think I'd prefer 16 land. I don't mind cutting chart. That's fine. Alright, I'm okay with that. Green, blue, green, blue, basic, one, two, overlapping is black here. I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to need any white sources, but two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 15 land mox diamond is not my favorite thing in the world. Actually, I'm going to cut the thief and run the chart to start. We are playing against Arena Champion Phil Helmuth. Chat, what an opening hand. How does he do it? Okay. Just yellow pitch the negate, I guess. Turn one talisman, turn two gold red or gris, depending on. Oh, here comes the red rocks me. And we draw a land next turn. Oh, no! And we draw a forest. Okay, that'll work. Milled another green source, sadly, but hey, no complaints. One mana stone rain, pretty brutal. 
I assume I'm supposed to kill the mentor here. It seems like the me mm, yeah, it makes the most sense. Spell Queller and two lands. I don't know if Lely is in the cube. Okay, one pump. There goes Grist. Come on, land, please. Gotta pay the life here, sadly. Nice. Force of Negation! Last card in hand. But by itself, that's not good enough. Alright, let's get Mama online then. Mox Pearl, Rabble Master, Jace. So it's like a Jess guy beatdown brew. So this is probably going to be an attack and bow mat sack. And it's putting the cards in hand, right? Not drawing. Yeah. Time walk. Pearl time walk, huh? I feel like we just let Ashiok take the hit. And then if they want to burn out Ashiok, that's fine, right? Gosh. This is close. But I guess if they're willing to attack, I'm okay with this. Sure. Just uptick again. The fairy land land. I'm not going to block Kavu on attacking Ashiok. I'm going to draw an extra card here. Oh, I see. A <laughs> cycle Sparrow's on my upkeep. That's good. Remand Cryptic Dragon. All right, we are pressure pressuring both ways. Life and Library. Mimomancer. Bonfire of the Damned, plus Ragavan, okay. Oh my gosh, milling them is actually kind of funny here. Five, six, seven, eight. So if I just like mill them, mill them, mill them, kill this. No, remember they, they bow mat chat. I almost want a gold span here. But then if they rip land, pretty bad. They have they have nothing in their hand chat but bonfire. Epiphany, land, and image. Milled DRC Jailer Talisman. Okay. Yeah, they hit the land for bonfire, so they get to bonfire, wipe my board of creatures. But they need to kill Ashiok here, which means I take zero damage. So they have to kill me next turn. Can't the bonfire just target Ashiok? Or is that how it works? Alright. That's pretty good. We get to see effectively all of their deck for our team so remember this is a team event you want to try to get as much info as you can for your teammates all right so gargaroth looks pretty good versus them Kirab jeezy looks pretty decent. drag tusk looks pretty good I don't know if I want Thief in, if that's what you're talking about. I feel like Time Spiral can probably be cut. The bribery seemed okay at best. It hits like a gold span dragon or something. It's kind of medium, honestly. Uh, they had a Mox Pearl for Rexage. They had... Um, I don't think you want to take Palace Jailer with bribery because since they're going to be the one pressuring, they can steal it so quickly. The negate looked okay. They have a bunch of counters and time walk. Look, game plan is just going to be like Lotus, Diamond, Turn 1, Gargaroth, Shake My Hand, you know? 
I guess the Rex Age is mediocre. I'm okay leaving in the fast manas, though, to try to get to the big stuff. Not bad. Uh, um, I mean, I don't see how I mulligan this, but it's actually not that good. I think I have to go Lotus, Talisman, Witherbloom here. I think Kaido down tick is extremely weak. We still get to Kaito next turn anyways. What? No, you're thinking of the other one. You're on the mill. For man time, yep. I guess I'll play around. Mana tide nonsense. That's fine. From what we saw, they have a really hard time dealing with Garg. Yes, as I was saying, really hard time. Ugh, gug, 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 gug. Ooh, ooh, this is nice. Titania back island, Mox Diamond the island, abrupt decay. <laughs> Oh, wait, this is from the battlefield anyways. No, no, that's not how Palace Jailer works. It's only until I become the Monarch. We're in a rough spot here, friends. We are in a really rough spot here. Do I just commit to losing my Kaito forever? No, I don't have a way to get two, right? As soon as Titania enters, it needs to have a target, so I can't respond by sacking the Vista and getting the Vista again. Oh, wait, why did I think this... Oh, I thought I put it to my hand. I just messed up. Whoops. Oh, it didn't matter. Never mind. No, no, because again, like I said, there was no way for me to get back the Vista. Yeah, it will. I think I'm just going to let the Kaito go away forever. And get rid of the flyer for now. Not sure what I need to draw, but I hope I draw it. I don't think it was that. This can't be a good sign. All right. All right, all right. Stupid, sexy palace jailer. What's up, Kate Purden? Thanks for the eight months of E. One of the few ways to resolve or remove the Gargaron Gargaroth, yeah. Very few ways. No, because I can just chump with Bowmat, right? El Sleaze, the Oling's the two months subby. I almost wanted to bring in the uh What is it called again? Alright. Well, I guess it's a keep. I hope I draw something else to do next turn. Gargaroth or whatever. Oh, come on. <laughs> Time walk pearl. <laughs> okay. He doesn't have an untapped blue next turn, so I guess I just go. This is such a weird grist, dude. But I guess it's right. I mean, I could just go. I could just go Titania. Turn one grist seems a little bit better, but. 
It's so much more mana efficient to go to uh, Titania. No, I can't. I can't let the Ragavan free roll because then we do get time walked or whatever. Ah, this is such a weak Lotus. I mean, I suppose I could Leo, but I think I like Grist here. Grist also st starts fueling the Titania. Drew Rabble Master, huh? That's pretty good. Well, we have perfect info. He would have to draw a blue source. I don't think I kill the Rabble. There goes Diamond. We can put the two bugs on Rabble or whatever. Or we could just chump the Rabble here. Like, this is completely fine. And this, hopefully this is just like headquarters pass. Sick. Hmm. Now I think it might be safe just to kill the Rabble. God, hitting a fetch on top next turn would be so good. What's up, Super Megalodon? Thanks for the three months. So, uh, we have to be worried about one card, and that's the top deck. Um, what you call it? On fire. Oh, there it is. There it is. Actually, I think we're gonna keep the or keep the abrupt decay on top now. Oh yeah, image is gone. Still some scaries, and I only have up to four toughness. So, All right, mentor, oh prismatic. Okay, so he's gonna set up for the time walk, but we have the decay and whatnot. All right, Goldred A. I think that's one I probably want to draw. Jeez, Scarab Jeezy too, but. Slight temptation there to even just uh, decay the pearl. Time walk into draw three. Yeah, this is good. It's game three. Shoulder doing some solid work, though. QB is just lethal by itself, right? All right. Woo! I mean, uh, yeah, it looks like a keep. It's a turn two Titania with a 5-5 five, five or whatever, 3-3, three, three, whatever the sizing is, 5-3. 5 three. Five, 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 three, three. Hey! Well, turn one library on the play with a mulligan is a little bit less scary. Uh, let me see what Alpha Frog was playing. It was like some green-white something. I'm wondering if I want to run out my Lotus to hold open the gate turn one. I'm guessing I probably should wait here. They might just pass. They might just go draw, pass, and wait until library goes active. Oh, no, they didn't. What are you talking about? Jeez, this hand is kind of nuts now.
probably just going to sit back after this. I don't think we're going to run out Kaito until turn 5. Okay. We are pretty happy with this sequence. So I'm going to negate anything I can here. Easy. Uh, let's go forge. And I'm going to make a 1-1 one -one here because we have lethal next turn. Well, I guess we already have lethal with the lose 5, but... No, I think I make a 1-1 one -one unblockable here still. Right? Because then even if they somehow get through Mana Leak, deal with my 7, they're going to lose 5 and this is still a fast clock. Well, that was brutal. <laughs> that was brutal. So two initiative creatures, though. Sucky, sucky. I hate initiative. I hate Monarch. I hate initiative. All that crap can go suck it. Crypt is okay. That takes so long. Monarch and initiative just stick. I'm not sure if bribery is actually very good versus them. I mean, they're green-white. They have double initiative creature, but it actually doesn't look great. Yeah, I think Thief comes in for sure. I don't... I think the bribery can come out. I'm sure I could probably cut the Titania too, honestly. And just bring in a random Gargaroth. It's got Vigilance, I think. It's like Vigilance and Tap to add mana. Yeah, I think I'm okay cutting Titania. Ah, uh, I'm gonna leave the Bribery in. Probably fine. Lauren revealed Auto 4 of and Vintage Blue. It's kind of cool, though. I mean, it makes sense. Card's nice. Cut the Gargaroth? I just brought it in. I think that's good versus them. Bring it in, then cut it. I think it's one of these blue cards. I mean, obviously, Leovold or Shuldred with Spiral is the dream, but I I'm okay cutting the bribery. All right. Uh, turn one Grist, turn one Courser. Also, just turn one Pass. God, Courser land is so juicy here. I'm going to go for it. Come on. All right. Danger. There's not a land underneath that. We're going to have a really bad day. Yeah. Nothing to see here. Just, you know, not going to play the talisman that was clearly on top of my library. Nothing to see here. <coughs> Commander Master Tips. Um, Commander's formats, you can usually just latch on to an early commander and then just kind of force, I have found, and not necessarily read signals. That is a pretty nice negate target. I'm going to tap it like this in case they have Wasteland. I think Slax has Strip Mine, but I don't know if anybody has a Wasteland, so this way they can't waste my island and then cast something through Mana Leak. I was going to open it today. I was going to do a sponsored Ambassador stream today because I thought Commander Masters was live on um, MTGO but it's not live until next week. Well, that could be a problem. Ah! So now I think I go Grist, mill the chart, and hope there's a land underneath. It's either that or I sack my Courser to kill the Hex Drinker. Oh, it's so sick. That's kind of brutal. God, a land there would have been so... Because if we drew a land there, I wouldn't have mind using Grist to sack the Courser. At least we still get a hold open the leak, but... Can I win if I don't kill the Hex Drinker right now? This is rough. Kind of like Grist milling myself and getting extremely greedy, but... I mean, it's going to be tough to beat Initiative if I just sack my Courser to it as well. I think I'm going to get greedy.
it hit the land, so that part of the greed paid off. So they're going to have to fully level the Hex Drinker here, and then they're going to kill the Grist, at least. I can still win with, like, Shouldred into Spiral YOLO. I guess they don't have to actually kill the Grist, but it's likely they're going to. Yeah. I mean, I have time. I have quite a bit of time. There's the Shouldred, baby! Okay, that's it. We set up for the lethal. We set it up, baby! Just like we drew it up! 14 you next turn? <laughs> Just like daddy set it up. Nice Gideon. Would be a shame if you got a leak. I'll counter the initiative creature if they have it here too. I think. Actually, no I won't. I wonder if I even just wait a turn now. Let me see. Alright, Slack said they didn't see anything. So I'm gonna go for it. I did play the land. There was a land underneath that one. Nice! Alright. Here we go. Yeah, one more win to clinch. No black lotus opener, huh? If this was green or blue, I would keep it. Sadly, it is the one color where I cannot afford to keep this. Okay, that's pretty solid. Uh, what did he have for bribery? A lot of good stuff, right? He has like a pseudo reanimate plan, so... I think I'm gonna pitch the swamp here. Only real double black we have is, um... Uh... What's Shouldred? If I don't hit a land, I'm probably going to have to play Kaito. Sundering Titan Sauron is what I saw from the previous game. If I do hit a land, I could just QB. Kaito might still be right to allow for a potential bribery next turn though, right? I'm actually going to discard... Wait, does Persist hit both players? Card Persist. Your graveyard. Okay, let me double check the ways that he has to reanimate that I know of. Uh, open in browser. Pile on Lily Persist Exhume. Oh, that was only half the deck, though. Oh, non-legendary as well. True. Okay. Yeah, this is a common, common thing. It's not THE questing beast, but it's still legendary. Right, right, no, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's why I would discard the questing beast, because now we do have an exhumed target for ourselves. It's pretty good. That allows us to hold up mana leak after bribery. Yuri to wipe the board is pretty medium. Sauron's Dece. I don't think it's bad to grab Sundering Titan here. I'm not going to. I'm probably grabbing Sauron. I think Fury is a little bit too weak. Ah, Sauron or Fury? I mean, the Sauron keeps Kaito safe as well. Because I have the Mana Leak in my hand, though... I guess I'm just going to wipe their board. Well, we know they have uh, Lily. So Lily could deal with Sauron. Uh-oh. Punished? No? Okay. Oh, you're right. Lily would give a 1-1 one -one first. You're right, you're right. Leovold or Chart Greed? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's kind of tempting to blow up the uh, jet, but I think I'm going to go for the Chart. Punished. Hard punished. Hmm. 
right? But it enters tapped. I don't know if this was right. I mean, I don't feel like we're in a bad spot, but I don't know if this was right. Did I drop? No. OP's not moving. Chat's not talking. Oh, God. Streamer's fear. Did I lose connection? Where am I? Simulation. Simulation. Just animate den. Spaghetti man. So maybe kill the fury. Yeah. They can reanimate their own fury now eventually if they want to. I'm gonna go Leo pass, hold up negate. They can blow up my uh, Leo with the Mox Jet, but that's fine. The dirt is actually kind of annoying here. Yeah, I'm not going to negate that, but... Dreddy's going to solo my team. And activation now. Yeah. Shoulder is not even a great play. And now they're going to have a token for... Uh... Now they're going to have a token for Dreddy to sacrifice. Yeah, I guess maybe I should have made a 1-1. I don't even think that gets black, does it? I don't have a black duel. I can dot Talisman into Shuldred, but... Yeesh. Yeah, QB would be really good here. Uh... So it's going to be Den of the Bugbear versus my top decks. And that obviously favors them. That's what it takes to get the Dreddy off the battlefield. I guess that's fine. Oh, you're right. It is an artifact. My, my mistake. All right. Iomatic went 0-3, unfortunately. Uh, Slax is on game three. All right. <sighs> Dreddy off the battlefield. Kaito about to be off the battlefield. Yo, be Hobbsy! Thanks the 104 months. I take one. I mean, I think I have to cast it. I'm just debating if I want to play the Talisman out first. I lose a mana, but potentially gain a card, so it's not terrible. Just re-bribery? Is that even good? I don't think Leo Corsair is a good play. I can only go Questing Beast, nothing else. Yeah. I mean, in theory, I could take the time to see what's left in their deck if I did this. But who's got time for that? Well, let me see what they drew if they cast what they drew. That doesn't actually help at all. I do wish I had grabbed Sauron the first time around and not the Fury. But it made sense to grab Fury. Uh, I thought I got game one. Is this game one? I don't actually know anymore. I have no idea, actually. That top ban- where? I don't see top banner saying game one. Oh, no, it does look like game one. I don't see another game before this. Oh, OBS says it. Okay. At least uh, MTG bot knows what's going on. Shoot, so I have to win this match. Iomatic went 0-3. Slax lost his match and went 2-1. So this is for team win. Well, I don't like our position in this game because we just refueled the opponent. I do feel like if I had taken Sauron, we would have been in a better spot, yes. But I think make, taking the Fury was also fine in that scenario previously. Magnum Memnon thanks for the 93, Monsubi. Okay. Starts off with some card draw. I don't mind seeing that necessarily. 1-1 one, one acquired. My hand's actually not that good outside of, say, Questing Beast. What's up, Zadrid Kith? Thanks for the 57. Sauron versus the Ephiomancer. I don't need to attack with the Sauron, though. It just sits on the battlefield and is super annoying. They can only pressure with 1-1-1, uh, one, one, one. but if they do attack with the Snake, then I could attack with Sauron, right? Timberwolf, thanks for the 21 months. Joke's on you. My hand sucks. Wait, I don't even know what they're choosing here. Look at my hand and give something minus two minus... Wait, what? That is not what just happened here. Oh, they drained. 
all of the commands and stuff are so oddly uh, templated on Magic Online. They always change them, and I guess it showed the one... I have no idea. It doesn't matter. Anyways, they looked at my hand and they drained. Roxa, sure. So I'm going to lose three life if I discard one of these lands. I don't want to get burnt out, though. I think discarding the Sphinx might actually be okay. I mean, I have Courser to regain some of it next turn, I guess. Um, let me double check what their burn scenario was, if they even had that many. I don't think they did. Polygon's Command, a little bit of burn. Grim Lava Mancer, a little bit of burn. I think it's probably okay to pitch the Sphinx. And again, that gives me a way to exhume something nice back, since we also know they have an exhume in deck. That was a really good turn cycle for us. I'm one mana short of playing all three of these next turn, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doesn't accomplish anything. I think Leo is probably going to be safer. Leo plus QB. I guess I should have played Leo pre-combat. Whoops. Because if the army hits... Actually, you know what? I could find any number of counters this way. Maybe I do just pitch this hand and get a fresh four now. I still think I should have played Leo first, but... I kind of... kind of dig... Pitching my hand. Okay. Well, this is kind of like Leo in the sense that now they can't draw any extra cards anyways. <laughs> What's up, winter weather? Thanks for 35 months. This is pretty funny. Qu uh, Questing Beast is the ring bear. Can't be blocked by two or less and can't be blocked by five or more. There's the exhume! Um, is this Leo or Sphinx here, chat? What are we feeling like? I don't even actually know what's correct. I don't think we need Sphinx. Leo makes me draw cards if they target anything. I don't think it particularly matters. They are very much the same, but this has flying. I mean, what are they getting back? They're getting back Kroxa. And I'm just going to discard Diamond here. Leo helps me gain life if they target. Well, if they target, they... Yeah, that's true. Okay, draw. Gain two. Alright. Okay! Wish Makeshift could hit any graveyard. Scarab Jeezy looks pretty good here over uh, Titania. I don't think I bring in Thief. They have too many ways to kill a small creature. Ragtusk isn't crazy bad. I mean, the most threatening card was the Duretti, which I have, what, Decay for if it's on the battlefield? I think I'm just going to make that swap. Titania out, God in. Regrowth isn't terrible, but I don't think it's necessary. I just get a crazy turn one Black Lotus one time. Lotus, Diamond, Land... Bribery, Sauron. Lillian87, thanks for the 52 months, subby. I don't think we want Mind Slaver, do we? It's 10 mana? That's way too slow. Plus, they have like Kolagon's command and stuff. Kolagon's and Doretti deal with that, unless I'm doing it in one turn, which doesn't seem likely. This is for all the marbles. It's not bad, it's just not good. I think I mulligan this. Yeah, I just, I don't think that's good enough. We have so many relevant 3-drops, it's just not worth keeping this, I think. Even if we drew a 3-drop off the top, it would be on turn 3. I say nay. Prison Frap Rawl, of 48 months, Zubby! World Boss Hype! Man, I haven't done a World Boss in like 5 days. They must have a tough mulligan decision, too. I don't think turn 3 QB is good enough. Keep because this has Decay on two? I have to pitch the Spiral, though? Not the best hand I've ever seen. 
Did not want to draw Scare of God. Did not want to draw... Sp We're just redrawing the terrible o opening hand that I had. God, if I draw Questing Beast next turn, I concede. Okay, well... I might just get stomped end of turn. Stomp into just cast the uh, giant, I think makes a lot of sense from their end of things. I'm going to need to find a blue source for the Elkite. So I'm going to go to 14 here. Then I'm going to go to 12. Then I'm going to go to 11. Island? All right, we'll take it. Ideally, they don't play something that I'm going to need the Mana Leak this turn. Oh, Den is so bad. Ah. I guess I need to draw another untapped blue source here so I can go Leo plus Leak. Oh, did they play the Swamp? Maybe I wasn't paying attention. I can't beat Thundermaw Hellkite, oh, but I also can't beat Den. Oh, this is so bad. Game two. I can't beat either right now. So let's just counter the one that they're currently casting. Since they might not be able to cast the Undermaw. Looking pretty bleak though. Yeah. Are you sure they played the Swamp earlier? I don't think they... I don't know. It doesn't matter. All right, I'm at six. Okay. Game three. Game three we go. I don't think we're bringing in Thrag Daddy. Gargaroth doesn't seem bad, I guess. Maybe Gargaroth is better than Scarab God. You guys don't like Sphinx either. Uh... This is still really good. No, I'm gonna leave the Sphinx in. Just cut the god. Gargaroth better there. Gargaroth would have saved us there, right? Okay, well, I can't mulligan this. No need to probe on turn one, right? It doesn't do anything. Because even if I ripped a Lotus off of probe, that wouldn't accomplish. And it's not like there's a better play than turn one elf anyways. What's up, Trench Templar? Thanks to the Prime. This is one of those hands, though, where I go... I can't go turn one elf, turn two Planeswalker. We have to grab a basic here. We wouldn't use Lotus to dump our hand like that, though. We're not Planeswalker, our tri-color cards. Obviously, yeah, we can play Grist. Or any of our other blue-black cards. Actually, I guess I don't have that many blue-blacks. Ashiok, Kaito, Leo. Eh, three of them. I can't cast. Five, 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 five. For all the marbs. All right, they kept their sixer. Mm. Okay. Talisman chart here if I wanted to. How do we want to sequence this? Do we want to ramp? They have Kolagon's command though, so they're going to go turn two Magna. Kolagon's command is really bad for us here. I could just attack for one in chart. We have three lands in hand. I don't think it's bad to necessarily discard one. Polygons, Magda, Pylon, Exhum. So they're going to go turn two Magda. Ah, turn three command is so gross. <laughs> uh, so I think I'm going to go ahead and Diamond Oath right now. They're going to get something off of Kolagons now no matter what, right? They have Pylon. So Gargaroth is actually not great versus Pylon. Isn't it better to just Leo here? At least that cycles off of Pylon. I think so. Pylon has um, Convoke. And they have Magda to make treasure. So they definitely can do it next turn. Bad. Doesn't matter, right? You know what would be a great draw, Sphinx? 
Because if I attack with Elf and then they go attack with Magda, make treasure, they can pile on Leovold and I can't trade with the Magda. Spiral's still in the deck, yeah. Titania's out though. Titania would be pretty good right now too. Fallon doesn't exile. Man, chat, you crazy. Everything about chat is crazy. Oh! <laughs> Is it that I didn't know how path works, or that I just forgot? There's a big difference there. Gosh, any fat spell there is so sick. Now they're going to end a turn kill Leo. Oh, man. If they surveil a fatty into the graveyard, the exhume is pretty awkward. Leo's wasn't somebody sick. I could have attacked with it that turn. I don't think we're supposed to. All right. Surveilled Swamp Graveyard. Left one on top. Clock is not an issue. When anybody, anybody sees a red clock, that four and a half minutes is a ton of time. Okay, only two unknowns. Oh, sorry, one unknown. If it's not something scary, which it's probably a dragon. God. Yeah, that's really bad too. Uh because now Shouldred just dies to, uh, I mean, they might far off, far off the Kolagons here, but Shouldred would just die to Chandra plus Kolagons if they sit on it. No, it looks like they're going to fire off. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's just Shouldred here, all right? God, if that elf had lived, the Grist would be able to pop the Chandra. It's kind of nasty. We wouldn't have enough black. Oath of Nyssa lets us cast anything for Grist. Yes! Okay, they bricked! They bricked! Yes! Well, actually, that doesn't really matter, but... I assume I just pop the Magda, right? And smack Chandra for four. That's gotta be right. Then Grist. They already have infinite mana, so killing the Grim Monolith or whatever doesn't really matter. Milled my bribery, damn. Well, that would have been a very good draw too, obviously. Swamp again, yes! Chandra's bricking. Oh, baby, let's go! That's great! <laughs> Yes! Clutch it! Clutch it! Well, that makes me feel pretty hard to beat. The creature's in my graveyard, too. So we can't quite kill them here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's lethal, right? Let's go! Ding, 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 ding. We got ourselves a 3-0, baby. Yas. All right, so 3-0, 2-1, and 0-3. But 5 out of 9 is a victory. We'll take it. Sultai Poop wins again. Feels good, man.